Hi YouTubers, this is your Ems and these two small spots are 80 tiny 4 and 80 tiny 9. Today I'm going to build breakout boards for these two microcontrollers. After that I'm going to code a blink program and upload it to the microcontrollers and in the end I'm going to show you how I found a bug in AVR Dude which I reported to the AVR community. In one of my previous videos I built this 80 tiny 5 breakout board. You can watch it if you want. And in the same video I also built uh, the breakout board for 80 tiny 10 microcontroller. 80 tiny 4 and 9 microcontrollers are from the same family like 80 tiny 5 and 10. So I decided to build breakout boards also for these two microcontrollers. The only things I need uh, for building breakout boards are these two adapters and pin headers and that's actually all I need. So let's go for it. And here they are. This is a breakout board for 80 tiny 4 and this is a breakout board for 80 tiny 9. And here you can see the full set 80 tiny 4, 80 tiny 5, 80 tiny 9 and the last one is 80 tiny 10. If you are asking what's the difference between these microcontrollers here is a comparison table. 80 tiny 4 and 80 tiny 9 don't have analog digital converters, and 80 tiny 4 and 80 tiny 5 have just half kilobyte of flash memory, and the other features are the same. So let's get tested. The first which I'm going to test is 80 tiny 4. I'm going to need my super simple prototyping board which I built in one of my previous videos and the 8094 breakout board is going to be there like this. The next important thing I need is this uh, USB ASP programmer which must be upgraded to the latest firmware. It's connected to the prototyping board like this using this cable and the last thing I have to do is to connect a LED to the prototyping board with one end to the PB2 pin and with the other end to the ground. And everything is ready for testing. So now I have to open Visual Studio Code. Here it is. I've already prepared a Blink 
program. This time is a simple version of the Bling program which I wrote for my previous videos which you can find in my GitHub repository. This line of code just turns pin PB2 as an output pin. We need this for blinking the LED and this is an infinite loop in which I toggle the output on the pin PB2. If it's zero, this line of code changes it to one and when it's one, this line of code changes it to zero and the delay function just waits for 1000 milliseconds which is one second and that's it. Let's update a little make file because I'm going to test 8090 so I have to change it microcontroller to 8090. I've already explained this uh, make file in one of my previous videos you can watch if you like. And now I'm ready for compiling and uploading the code. I've just triggered the build and it looks alright. It seems that everything was compiled correctly and also uploaded to the microcontroller. So let's check uh, the prototyping board and the LED is blinking. The AT-1094 is running correctly. Let's test now the 8099 breakout board. The process is going to be the same. I just need to change uh, the make file for programming 8099 microcontroller. And now I'm going to trigger the build. And it also looks fine. It seems that it's been uploaded correctly. And let's check the prototyping board again. The LED is still blinking, which is also fine. And now I'm going to move to the topic for advanced users. I noticed this error 5 uh, after uploading the code to the 8099, which was very suspicious to me because the code was uploaded to the 8099 correctly. Yeah, the LED was blinking. Now I'm going to manually upload the code from command line to 8099 like this uploading the code looks all right on windows every application returns an exit value and you can check that exit value using the error level environment variable and the avr dude returns this time very weird value Normally it should be zero, which means uh, no issues. Let's test it again, but for 8010, uploading looks all right. And let's check the exit value, which is zero, yeah, which is all right. It's a very suspicious, so I've uh, checked on the internet that the weird number is uh, in hex code, access violation, and the access violation means that your application is accessing a memory which is not allocated for your application, which is bad. And if you find an issue in Aviadute, you can report it like I've already done on this website. Specifically, I reported my issue under this item. And it's also a recommendation for you. If you find any issue in AVR toolchain, don't hesitate to report it. If you have any questions, please leave me a message in comments. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.